Hey what's going on? Welcome to the world of ASILK. This video is a guide on how to create efficient roundabouts. As you can see on the screen now, I have two roundabouts. The one on the right is less efficient than the one on the left. If we speed this up, the one on the right is very congested in uh, the roundabout, while the one on the left is flowing really freely. And I'll show you why that is. If we take a closer look at this roundabout, as you can see, cars are stopping in order to let these cars through. And this is generally not what you want. In a roundabout, an efficient roundabout would have uh, people in the roundabout having right of way over the people who are entering. And I'll show you how you can make it so that that lies true in your roundabout. In order to achieve this, you will first need a traffic manager mod which is available on the Steam Workshop. This lets you do stuff like switch traffic lights and add priority signs. Adding priority signs is basically what we want here. If you click on the intersection with the add priority signs, originally you will see three dots and that represents the intersections or the, uh, the lanes cars are coming from. As you can see in this setup, I have the cars come in and yield to the cars already in the circle. And this helps quite a bit because now the people in the circle won't have to stop for these guys coming in. Now, another thing you could do to make your intersections a lot more efficient is instead of using, instead of using the one-way roads like these, I always use highways. And the reason why I use highways is because, uh, first of all, they're faster, and second of all, the way they handle uh, the lanes, um, which turn right or left, is a lot better. And I'll show you why in a second. So if I were to build a rough circle, I know that's not the best of circles, but if I were to build a circle like that and uh, attach my avenues back up and the road back up, you will see that uh, the intersection will work quite a bit better. Of course, you could always go back to Traffic Manager and manage how uh, right of way is handled. So usually I have cars come in and yield and then cars already on the road have priority like so. With the traffic manager mod you could also change the lanes of the road and as you can see here the left lane goes straight, the right lane can go straight or right and the right lane can only go right. So with this you could actually change which ones can go right. So as you can see here Lane 1 only goes straight, lane 2 only goes straight, but lane 3 can go straight or right. We want to change this so the right lane only goes right. So that that way, these guys can only... Uh, that way it like reduces the bottleneck in this roundabout. Here's another example of this roundabout in action. As you can see, I'm using a highway to create this roundabout. And I find that if you use highway ramps uh, for cars to enter, it makes the roundabout flow a lot more smoothly. So as you can see here, with this avenue, I have it split up into two highway ramps. And same with these and this one and this one. And as you can see, even though quite a big bit of traffic is being entered into this roundabout, the roundabout is handling it quite well. And if we go into Traffic Manager and then look at our priority signs, I can you can see that I've added a yield sign on the cars that are entering. So that helps quite a bit as well. Now heading back to this example, after I've added highway ramps in and out of the roundabout, you can see that traffic is flowing 10 times better than before. But anyway, hope you found that informative and helpful. Uh, please leave a like and comment and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys next time.